It's called Music in the Air, and it's this beautiful little charming story of um, a group of people from a small town in Germany that go to Munich to try and uh, sell some music that they, or get copywritten some music that published music that they've written. This piece is about um, an operetta singer who is a diva and she's in love with the diva composer and all the ins and outs of doing a show and a young girl coming in and trying to take over, not trying to take over, the diva quits so she gets put in and she can't really cut it so the diva comes back. It's really a fun love story. You know it sort of goes into the story of what happens when simple country people come to the big city and, and, and what happens. And and how their lives sort of change and um, it's a really really sweet story and the music is gorgeous when I hear a pretty song I want to sing like a bird I want to learn every word and every rhyme I'm susceptible and foolish and young but I have Underneath all that, there's a very sweet story about the different generations. There's a young couple, the sort of middle-aged couple, and then there's an older couple, Marnie Nixon and Dick Latessa. And there's just, I think the show has a sweet message about, about life and the stages of life. The appeal of it is, with a lot of Encore shows is that it is absolutely charming. It's not a play that, that would be written today. Um, the style of it is certainly not contemporary, and yet it was written by such wonderful craftsmen. It's such a beautifully written uh, piece of theater that uh, people wouldn't get a chance to see this anywhere else. Life. revived was in 1950 something and it was first done in 32 um, and it was a big hit back in 1932 not so much in the 50s and you know it just goes to show you what is relevant at the time and so here's a Jerome Kern Oscar Hammerstein musical from the early 1930s uh, with some hit songs in it that people will recognize but nobody knows what it is you don't get better people in their craft than Hammerstein and Kern and we just did a couple of numbers with a full chorus it's an absolutely beautiful score. And it's the remarkable time in history between operetta and the musical theater. You get some traditional sort of rhythmic melody that you would expect to hear in the Student Prince or Showboat, but the tone of the book and the lyrics is much sassier. It, it has much more color that you would might hear after the war when the United States has been through it and we're a little bit jaded. Why can't I let you know Song my heart would sing a beautiful melody of love and youth and spring. The music is sweet, the words are true, the song is you. I think people are going to be really delighted by how lyrical and how bright and how gorgeous it is. I mean, and, and some of the songs people will know well, like The Song Is You or I've Told Every Little Star, those are a little bit more well known to a lot of musical theater folks, but the other pieces are just as beautiful. I love shows like Spring Awakening and In the Heights, but this harkens back to a more innocent, more classic time. It's, it's a wonderful old clunker, as I call them, but they're lots of fun. The music's great, Kern and Hammerstein, but it's a show nobody's seen. So they're all curious to see it, and nobody's seen it because they haven't done it. And these are the kind of things that we hope they'll do more of. The fun thing is the amazement of how fast they can put something like this on with really 
professional people and good direction, how everybody can come together not even knowing what's in the show and suddenly it's, it's uh, you get one rehearsal and, and you go. As an actor, the show doesn't have a, another name you know, attached to it. You, you don't hear music in the air, oh, that, what's, that actor did that, he was great in that. You know, it, it's sort of a blank canvas and it, it allows you to just sort of create this character without any preconceived notions of it how it was done before, you know? With this cast and with this company, this particular moment will never ever happen again. To, to bring back something uh, this important in the history of the musical theater, which is unknown, and with this cast of people um, is a first and only time kind of thing. So it's very, very special for all of us. Like a joke without any lie.